Hi, we are members of Phase 5. And we are conducting the Thank You World Study Tour. Japan faced three devastating earthquakes, a tsunami and nuclear crisis on the same day. Town became barren lands. Some 10,000 people are still not accounted for, gradually taken by the tidal waves. Radioactive particles have affected our food and water supply and made a 20 km radius of limit. At first, I was at loss. The destruction that has been done has been too crucial to comprehend. Where were we supposed to start? What could I do? I felt so powerless and small. The sudden thought that came to my mind was a sense of remorse. Firstly, to those who had lost their lives, and also to those who lost so much in this horrific event. And secondly, to the world. I felt ashamed that we as a nation had caused a situation that may affect the whole world. The nuclear particles that were released in the air and into the ocean will remain destructive for years to come. We have no idea how large of an effect it will have on the ecosystem. I think that we have caused a problem too big for us to handle. So we were surprised at all the support we received from throughout the world. Over 140 countries and regions had pledged their assistance. Also, millions of individuals from around the world have donated what they could. Some providing change that they have saved up. Others sending heartwarming messages to us. The U.S. troops provided their assistance in Operation Tomodachi. A school in Thailand had returned the money sent to them by the Japanese government to buy books and stationery. Folding origami cranes has become a phenomenon. What had started out as a university student's project is now a worldwide network that made over 700,000 cranes. Listening to how individuals around the world are standing up for Japan, I felt it was time that we think back. I felt we needed to recognize all the support we are getting and pledge that those efforts will not go to waste. So, to send our message of thank you to the world, we are planning to launch an ad campaign in major cities around the world. We will start with New York, where the United Nations came together for us, and also one of the hot spots for the Pray for Japan campaign. On August 21st, a group of 15 high school and university students will visit New York. They will visit the United Nations and show their appreciation to the countries that contributed. Also, the students will create an artwork expressing this Thank You World theme. This slogan will be used in the ad campaign that will run in the paper media distributed in New York. We plan to continue the Thank You World campaign by running ad campaigns in major cities around the world, especially where efforts toward Japan were significant. The recovery efforts are still ahead of us, but I hope that this campaign will be a reminder of what we have received and also an opportunity to pledge to the world that yes, we will rise again and create an even better Japan. Arigatou.